SoapCentral.com presents the 49th Annual Daytime Emmy Awards Red Carpet. From the Pasadena Civic Center in Pasadena, California, it's your host, Dan Kroll. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm better. Like Better? Yeah. This is. Did this I make is... you feel better? Always. Oh. I mean, is that a trick question? <laughs> of course. Uh, the smile, every, the dress. Thank you. Am I allowed to ask what you're wearing? Cause we yes, accept... Oliver Tolentino. He, he came in. I got this dress yesterday. <laughs> I ran to, his, to his, um, his store and I was like, please help me. And he's like, this is the one. And I said, yes, it is. It is the one. Like, <laughs> it it definitely is the one. It was, yeah. It's been three years since uh, three years. the last big red carpet. So I'm going to give you a chance. Everything, I guess it covers more than one, but everything that's happened to your character or characters in the last three years in 30 seconds or less and go. Um, okay, so she entered Genoa City. She fell in love with um, with Neil Winters and then she fell in love with his son. And then she pretended that she wasn't in love with either of them. Um, and then she ended up falling, like really marrying her son, his son and going along with that, then dying. And then she then she came back to Genoa City, but except it wasn't her. It was actually Amanda Sinclair and she was actually a high-powered attorney. I don't know, was that fast enough? No, that's fine. Okay. I mean, listen, hey, I, I just like to watch people panic on the, the thing. Um, <laughs> Since it's been, you know, so long since we've all been together, and I've heard from a lot of people that they felt disconnected. Um, a lot of the fans are saying that you know, one of the things that sort of kept them sane was being able to c allow the constant, the consistency of daytime. So that's meant a lot to them. So I'm going to ask you, during the last two years or so, um, have you ever felt as though you were sort of disconnected? And if so, like, how did you get back to it? And did you pick up anything? Like, have you learned anything gardening or um, making bread over the last yeah, few years? Yeah, I mean, I actually felt the opposite. Um, I felt so much more connected in this weird way. And I felt so um, happy that we had created and proud of just everything that we've done as an international community to try and bring each other together and bring each other closer. And I got a chance, I mean, I was so lucky, you know, I just got to be at home with my kids in a house that we never fully nested. So we really got to just kind of spend time and be in the backyard and, the, and be together. Um, so I felt so connected with my family, but I was disconnected with my family in Toronto a little bit and that was hard and, you know, but we had the Zoom and we, it, it allowed us to make new experiences. I really tried to like look at the best at what was happening and we got to make new you know memorable experiences um, with each other so I mean that to me was was the best part of it and I think it just reminded us all what was the most important um, during that time we kind of got rid of all the fluff we got rid of all the things that didn't matter mm. and you got to really look at yourself again for the first time in a long time and see who you are again because it's not the job it's not it's not even the kids it's not even the family it's like find like who you really are as a soul and you really got to like really look at that and reflect on that so I was I was happy for the time off but I'm also a cancer so like really shell like I can be in my apartment like or my house like forever not even open the door so I was like I'm living my best life <laughs> I was loving it I, there's part of it I'm like oh, I don't even have to leave home this I is know amazing. I mean, but, but like I just have to put a new shirt on do some makeup I'm still wearing my pajama pants I underneath I work from home anyway so it's not like I had anywhere to go in the first place yeah. but like I really didn't have anywhere to go <laughs> uh, and in all of this I was given uh, fans, I gave them the opportunity to submit questions for people on the red carpet. Really? A lot of them were interesting, a lot of them I can't ask because I would never be allowed back. Okay. But I got one for you. One question. Let's go. Keeping in mind the world is watching, would you publicly declare tamarind balls to be the greatest snack of all time? <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally should, because that is that was my, well I mean I guess it is my favorite snack, my favorite Trinidadian snack, uh, it's, yeah, it's a shout out to where, to my home, to where I was born, to where I was raised for five years, to where I broke my neck like 10 years later, or yeah, 10 years, no, uh, almost 20 years later, crazy, um, yes, so yeah, tamarind balls definitely is the best snack. Now I need to find them, because... I'm hungry. Uh, oh, and it's so, it's so hard to find them out here in LA, but but there is some West Indian stores. You might be able to find them. Great. I'll look on the East Coast as well. Or maybe and I'll make you some. I figured out how to make them. I had to find out. I had to figure out how to make all the West Indian food while we were in lockdown. We can make a video. So that was yes. <laughs> oh, great! It's all purpose and. Whole. It's all coming I together. I can do a spinoff uh, before <laughs> I let you go because they're yes. giving me the thing. 
uh, I'm going to give you the, the opportunity to give a message to anyone that you'd like, be it the fans, be it someone in your life, um, whatever it is that you'd like. The mic is yours. I'm holding on to it so you don't wander off with okay. it, but um, it's yours. I guess I would just say to every little girl watching, um, you know, even if I win or if I don't win tonight, I got an opportunity to kind of be at the table. So mm. strive to be at the table and, you know, you never know what will happen. You never know. Thank you for coming back to chat. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Thank you.